So will, will we have some kirtan for a little while, uh, Vaishnavi? Yes, yes, Guru Maharaj. Okay. Simon Prabhu, do you want to sing for the kirtan today? Yes, yeah, Simon is a musician. Yeah. It would be nice. Means, uh, he, can, he can repeat for you or... Uh, I prefer Guru Maharaj chanting. No, to repeat, to repeat. Yeah. You ah. repeat after Guru Maharaj. Ah, okay, after Guru Maharaj. Maharaj. Okay. <laughs> so they want me to lead? <laughs> yes, Guru Maharaj. <laughs> okay. Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pristaya Bhutale Shrihimate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Niti Namine Namaste Sarasati Devi Goravani Pracharine Nirvisashya Shanyavadi Paschatya Dishatarine Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Hatvaita Gadadhar Shri Vasadhi Kaur Bhakta Vrinda Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Hadvaita Gadadhar Shri Vasadhi Kaur Bhakta Vrinda Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Hadvaita Gadadhar Shri Vasadhi Kaur Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare.
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. <coughs> Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Bo. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 
Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Bo Okay Hari Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari Hari Hare Rama, 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 Hare Rama,
5,000 years ago they were ladies, they were cowherd women. 500 years ago they came again to take part in Lord Chaitanya's pastimes. And this time they came as men. Because it, as ladies they were not able to associate very much with Krishna. But when they came as men, then they could be with Lord Chaitanya, they could be with Krishna all the time. So, we are chanting Hare Krishna, you can see here, one way with the beads, with the Japa Mala chanting, and over here we have the Madanga, or sometimes called the Kol, Kol and Kartal in Bengali they call it. We usually just say Mridanga drum. So we use these things for chanting Hare Krishna. Just a minute. Okay. So, Srila Prabhupada taught us how to chant Hare Krishna. There's a very nice recording. Prabhupada, when he was in America in 1960s, he made a recording. He made a, 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 a what we would call a long playing musical album. And in the beginning, he introduced the chanting of Hare Krishna. The album which he recorded was called The Happening Album. And it was that album which uh, George Harrison of the Beatles, he, he got that first and he'd heard the chanting of Hare Krishna. So later on when, he, when the devotees came to London and they met with George Harrison, George Harrison told them, Yes, I know, I've heard the record, I heard the chanting, I heard your guru, I heard this chanting, I like it very much. So, Prabhupada had this recording, and on that recording he introduced the chanting of Hare Krishna, and he describes like this, you can see on the bottom of the screen. Chanting Hare Krishna is the sublime method for reviving our transcendental consciousness. So, first of all he says, sublime method. In other words, it's very, it's very pleasurable. We get, we get a lot of happiness from this chanting. It's very satisfying to do it. It gives pleasure to the mind and satisfaction and for reviving our transcendental consciousness, reviving means bringing back our original consciousness, which is transcendental. In material world, we are only conscious of the body, but when we start to chant Hare Krishna, then we can awaken our original transcendental consciousness. Right? There's material consciousness, but this is transcendental consciousness, above the body. So that's the benefit of chanting Hare Krishna. Srila Prabhupada went on in the recording, if you ever get the copy of it, I think it must be on YouTube. You can maybe search it, I think it's called The Happening Album. So Prabhupada explains, as living spiritual souls, we are all originally Krishna conscious entities. So everything Prabhupada said, every word is so significant. He's explaining first of all our identity, that we are all spirit souls, we're not the body but we're spiritual souls living in the body. We're living spiritually, but we're living in a material body.
But the soul itself, the soul is not material. The soul is spiritual. The soul doesn't take birth and it doesn't die. The soul doesn't get sick. It doesn't get old. It doesn't get disease. Because the soul is not material. It is spiritual. So that we have to understand two kinds of energy. There is the material energy and there is spiritual energy. The soul is spiritual. The body is material. Body is temporary. Body takes birth and one day it will die. But the soul is eternal. It has no birth. And there is no death also. So Prabhupada said we are all originally Krishna conscious entities. Our original consciousness is as Krishna, to be conscious of our relationship with Krishna. That's our original consciousness. But we have fallen into this material world. We've become forgetful of Krishna. So we have taken our birth here in the material world. You can see in the illustrations, you can see on the left, the devotees doing Sankirtan, chanting the holy name. The young children are coming out to dance and chant with the devotee. And over here on the right, you see the young couple offering their food to Krishna, offering some sweets and flowers for the pleasure of Krishna. And Krishna is personally coming to receive them. So we have a relationship with Krishna. Krishna consciousness is to revive that relationship. Prabhupada then goes on, he says, due to our association with matter from time immemorial, we are all trying to be lords of material nature, while actually we are under the grip of her stringent laws. Hmm. So, I said there were two kinds of energy there. Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama. Hare Krishna Prabhu. <laughs> I'm having my usual India problems here with the, the network. 
<laughs> Seems like there's a storm just brewing up here in Bengal. Some heavy winds and rain disturbing the internet connection. Sorry about that. Okay. Okay, okay. So I'll come back to this uh, presentation. We'll try to continue. If I can find it. <laughs> Let's see, where is it? Okay, here we go. Can everyone see? Is it clear? Yes, You can see it? Yes. Yeah? Oh. Yes, yes, it's clear. Okay, good. So, clear. so Prabhupada is talking about the our our condition, our that we have been our situation, we've been in association with matter, with the material world for a very long time. He says, since ta from time, it, from time immemorial. And we're trying to be the Lord of material nature. We're thinking the material nature is for our enjoyment, independent of Krishna. So we forget we're actually under the grip of the laws of material nature. So this is our situation. <laughs> so we want to come out of the ignorance into the pure consciousness. So Prabhupada explains how there are different levels of consciousness. In the beginning, we have what is called the animal consciousness or the animal stage. You can see the man with his dogs and the people are lamenting. The man is getting ready to leave the body and he's simply thinking about his dog. At the time of leaving the body, if we simply think of the dog, then the next life we'll take birth as a dog. We may come back into the family again, but we come back into the family as a dog. So it's very dangerous. But we Hare Krishna Prabhu's
Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj. <laughs> Sorry for the trouble. You have to log in so many times. Yeah. Is the storm started again, Guru Maharaj? Yeah, a storm, big storm. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No problem, Guru Maharaj. Okay, can we can we see the the PowerPoint? Are you seeing the screen? Yes, yes. 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 Okay, so four stages of consciousness. First stage, the lowest stage, animal stage. Because we're only conscious of animal, and the thinking is only, you know, eating, sleeping, mating, defending, like that. Animal life. Animals, they don't think about anything else. It's all the same, but the Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, <laughs> back again, let's see, I don't know how long we'll be here for this time before it goes again, very unstable you can see, on and off. Yes, yes Guru Maharaj. Sorry about this anyway. No problem Guru Maharaj, no problem. This is a material world, right? <laughs> So animal stage, then above the animal stage, mental speculative stage. Think, of, think about life, think about things, have philosophy, enjoy the mind. It's a, a level of consciousness. It's above animal life. The, on the animal stage, they on, we only think about eating and sleeping and mating and defending sometimes. But this level, making more use of the mind, thinking about higher things. And above that, intellectual stage. Above the mind is the intelligence, right? Intelligence, the power to discriminate. And then above, above the intelligence you have the transcendental stage. So, four different levels of consciousness. Transcendental stage, We've shown the picture, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu chanting. That's transcendental consciousness. When we chant the holy name, we come to the transcendental platform. So who can take part in this chanting? Srila Prabhupada continues in his talk, he says, anyone can take part in the chanting without any previous qualification and dance in ecstasy. Even this Mr. Mouse, 
You can also dance and chant in ecstasy. Here you see Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu chanting and dancing. Lord Chaitanya, 500 years ago, he was walking around India and he went through the forest, a place called Jarakanda. And when he was in the forest, there were herds of wild elephants and tigers and many different wild animals. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu simply chanted everywhere. The Chaitanya Charitamrita, which is a Bengali scripture describing about the life of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, it describes that on one occasion Lord Chaitanya was walking in the forest, there was a tiger on the path, and Lord Chaitanya touched it with his feet. And when he touched the tiger with his feet, he told it, get up and chant Hare Krishna. And the tiger got up on his hind legs and he began to also chant Hare Krishna. And another time Lord Chaitanya was bathing in a river when a herd of mad elephants came. Lord Chaitanya threw some water on the elephants and the elephants also began to chant Hare Krishna. Some fell down on their knees and rolled in the earth. Others began to cry. They all felt ecstasy due to the contact with Lord Chaitanya and the chanting of the holy name. So anyone, even the animals, they can take part in this chanting. And they can also feel ecstasy. Even the trees and the plants, they felt ecstasy hearing Lord Chaitanya chant. So everyone can chant and dance in ecstasy. This is the process for the Kali Yuga. This is called Kali Yuga Dharm Hari Nam Sankirtan. And in the, in the Kali Yuga, the religious principles are followed by chanting of the holy name, the Yuga Dharma. Here you can see some nice devotees different colors, different ages, different sexes, different places. One thing in common, they're all chanting the Hare Krishna mantra. And they're all feeling very happy, very blue through chanting and dancing. So, we encourage devotees everywhere, regardless of their sex or their age, or whatever place, just take part in this chanting and you'll also become happy, become joyful. Srila Prabhupada said, chanting should be heard from the lips of the pure devotee of the Lord so that immediate effects can be achieved. So it's very powerful when we hear the chanting coming from Srila Prabhupada. Just as Srila Prabhupada heard the chanting from his Guru Maharaj, we can also hear from our founder Acharya, Srila Prabhupada. Srila Prabhupada is the founder Acharya, he is the Shiksha Guru Krishna Consciousness Movement. So it's very important for us to receive the mantra proper manner, from the proper person. It is said, if you receive the mantra but not in the proper manner, then it won't bear any fruit. It won't bear result. Just like some people, they may, they may have the mantra, they may know the mantra, but they don't follow properly, they don't take part in association. Do they get benefit? Well, they don't know how to do it. They don't know all the principles. But there are some principles required. But the chant it doesn't matter so much if, if they chant uh, as, as a musical performance, or if they chant jokingly, or if they chant for some other purpose. They'll get the benefit. Just like in the Srimad Bhagavatam, it tells about one man, one man who called his son by the name Narayan. So, he was, he, 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 this man was a 
initially he was a brahmana, but somehow it became very degraded and he had very bad association, illicit association with a woman. And he, he gave up his own wife with this other uncultured woman. And with this uncultured woman he had many children. So it happened that the name Narayan to his youngest son. So this man, whose name was Ajamila, in his old age he had this young son called Narayan. And he was very attached to the, the youngest son, naturally. Parents are very attached. So it happened that Ajamila was in old age, dying, leaving the body. And at that time, the Yamadudas came him to hell because he was very simple. He performed many sins. But when the Yamadudas came to take Ajamil to hell, at that time, the servants of Lord Vishnu came. The servants of Lord Vishnu called Vishnu's. And they came and would not let Ajamila go to hell. They said, no, this man, he cannot go to hell because he's already free from all of his sins because he chanted the name of the Supreme Lord. Even though he chanted unknowingly, he gets the benefit and it destroys all of his past sins. So, great effect, great potency is by hearing the holy name. And then we say, chanting from the lips of none should be avoided, just as one should avoid milk, touch the lip of a serpent, because it has effect. So, yeah, it said milk, generally milk is very delicious, we like, we enjoy the milk. But if you take milk which is touched, which has been touched by the lip of a serpent, then it's poison, dangerous thing. So similarly with the Maha Mantra, we want to hear the Maha Mantra from channel from the, the line of the disciplic succession. We don't like to take the Maha Mantra from other sources. Particularly it should not come from people who are not devotees. We should receive the mantra from the devotees because they can teach us how to properly chant the mantra and what is the proper standards in chanting. Hare Krishna, are you there?